Hi, Visual Arts. I want to talk to you for a little bit about supplies. Um, you are going to go pick up supplies on Wednesday and you will be given a brown um, high sack and inside of it you will have supplies from all of your different classes. From art, you should be looking for a white folder that will look similar to this right here. Um, it's a white portfolio and inside of it are all kinds of goodies for you. Um, visual arts is actually getting the most supplies of any of my art classes. So what you're going to do is you're going to open that bag and this sheet will actually be inside of a manila file folder for you. And I want you to go through and check off that you have each one of these things. You should have a pencil, an HB pencil, it will be labeled, a 4B pencil, a 6B pencil, an ultra fine sharpie, a fine point sharpie, a blending stump, a pink, white, and kneadable eraser. You should have two black squares of construction paper and five sheets of 12 by 18 paper in addition to that white portfolio. I want you to check each one of these things off on this list and then put them back in that folder and find a safe spot for them, okay? The other sheet of paper that I want you to look for in that folder is going to be this one. This is required supplies for visual arts that Lee Summit West does not, does not provide. So sometime between now and Friday, you are going to want to go out and gather up these things. Um, you're going to need um, a, a sketchbook and we recommend 60 to 100 pages what's called pounds, which is the weight of the paper. Um, it needs to be 60 pounds to 100 pounds. At 60 is the minimum. This one right here that I have in the picture is an excellent one. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or Michael's and use a coupon. You can order it off Amazon. You can't use a coupon there, um, but it's a really good one. We want the thicker paper because it will stand up to some painting and you will definitely be painting in these. These are not supplies that we're having you buy just because we're virtual. This is the same supply list that we give out to all visual arts students when we get them every single year. Um, visual arts is a little higher level than our foundations classes. And so we like for our kids to kind of have their own supplies that are nice that they can um, keep track of. In addition, this year is a little unique because when you come back to school, um, back to that list of supplies that I supplied for you, all of these things we would usually share in the classroom. Um, things like erasers and Sharpies and all of those things, we usually just have in a big bucket and everybody shares them. But this year, because of COVID, everybody has to have their own, in their own Ziploc baggie and that no one else can touch. So all of these supplies that I have provided for you actually are going to be yours for the entire year. Um, we will replace Sharpies and things second semester, but your pencils and stuff should last you the entire year as well as the erasers. So these items are on loan to you, much like a library book would be, and they get returned to me at the end of the year. Now I will say my visual arts kids usually use up all of their pencils and all of their Sharpies. Blending stumps I will definitely um, take back and any unused erasers I will take back. Most of these other items will, after a year's long class, be totally used up. So we're gonna go back to this required list. You need to gather up sometime between now and Friday, a pencil sharpener, a ruler, colored pencils, preferably 24 colors, um, one of these types of glue, glue stick, rubber cement, or Elmer's, I would recommend that you go with what you're the most comfortable with there, and praying watercolors. Um, eight or 16 will work. I will tell you if you get the eight, you're going to be mixing a lot of your own colors. So I'll let you kind of decide on that. And then a pair of scissors. Many of these items were on the school supply list for the whole entire school, so should be no um, big surprises there other than the sketchbook. Um, if you have trouble securing any of these supplies, let me know and I will be happy to help out however I can. We will figure something out for you. So what I want you to do is once you have all these supplies gathered up, both these and the other list, I want you to lay them out on the table in front of you and take a picture of them. So you're gonna take your, your phone or your Chromebook and I want you to just hold it over the top of it like this so that everything's in the picture and I want you to take a picture of it. Then you're going to come to this visual art supply checkoff form 
and you are gonna go back through here and I want you to check off that you have each one of these items. Each one of those items. Check off each one of those items. Check off each one of those items. Okay, I forgot the grayscale. You'll also find a grayscale in your, in your um, packet of goodies and a bunch of handouts for me. Don't lose any of them, just keep them safe, okay? Check all of these things off. Agree that if they're damaged, that you will, um, you acknowledge that you'll have to replace them or get fined. Um, promise that you're only gonna use these for this art class. We're not gonna let brothers or sisters use them for any other classes. Um, if there's any issues with anything that I gave you, if anything's bent or messed up in any way, just from the transporting it, go ahead and mention it there. And then I want you to upload that picture that you just took of all of your supplies laid out on the table. This is like the proof that you have it and it's in your possession, okay? Um, and then I would really encourage you to go find a safe spot for all of these supplies because we don't want pets or food or siblings or just whatever to mess up your artwork. Um, especially in visual arts, we're gonna, we're gonna work really hard on projects. Um, they're going to be really important to you so i really want you to find a safe spot i want everything to stay in that folder not wrinkled not crumpled keep it nice and organized okay we're actually going to be doing designs on the folders here in the next week or so um, but just leave all the papers and everything in the manila folder don't take anything out i will give you directions as we go as to what you need just leave it all in there all right i think that's it